Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Robin from Built by Colossus, and today I'm going to show you how I skin pretty much any character in Maya and the beautiful world that skinning is. I hear people constantly complaining about how daunting skinning is, and honestly, I think it just comes down to having the right tools and right techniques. And for me, the right tool is definitely NG Skin Tools. I've used it at every company I've been to. Most companies now have a version of NG Skin Tools, and it's becoming the industry standard. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to focus on Ninja's arm and I'm going to show you how to skin it from start to finish. So first thing you do is you want to grab all the bind joints on your character and you just want to default bind it to the mesh. Next thing you want to do is, once that's done, initialize the skinning layers. So I'm not going to run you through exactly how NG Skin Tools works. The documentation is on the website. I'm just going to show you my process. So the first thing I do is I change this layer's name to Flood and then I flood the root joint. So the whole character is flooded to the root joint. Okay, great. Next thing I do is I duplicate the layer and I call this one blocking. This is where the magic happens now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna block in to a value of one every joint in this character. It seems like a lot, but it's actually quite a fast process. I'll show you. So what I do is I, we're gonna use the arm for this example. You select the verts and holding shift right arrow, just grow your selection. And then we're gonna start blocking in these joints. So the twist joints are my arm joints. And once you've blocked in the first one, you wanna shift left arrow to start deselecting. And as you go down the chain, you're gonna move down your joints and start flooding them as you go. Flood. Isn't rigging fun? So fun. How fun is this? Rigging, yay. Okay, and then when I come down to the hands, I just want to select up to there and flood that to the wrist joint. Okay, now I have all my joints blocked in for the arm. Next thing I wanna do is I wanna create, it's called a calisthenic or a range of motion animation. I've already made one for your convenience. And I'm just moving the shoulder down in FK mode elbow, wrist, and then the bendy controls. And this allows me to see troubled areas where I got to start to relax the joint influence and blend in. So once you've made a little calisthenic for yourself, what you want to do is you want to go into that extreme position. And on a new layer, I go relax. And this is where I'm going to start to relax and smooth out the influences. And what's great about Entry Skin Tools is it has this tab called Relax. And with that tab selected, I wanna grab the verts around here and I just wanna go with like a low intensity, relax. Click it a few times and it just sort of averages between two joints or the neighboring joints, sorry. And then I wanna shift right click to grow selection and I just relax again. Same with the elbow, relax, kick it a few times, grow the selection, relax out a few times. Relax this, grow, relax. And this pretty much gets me nearly all of the way there. It's super fast. I see skinning as not an artistic thing, it's more a mathematical thing. Just growing and, and deselecting your selection and smoothing as you see fit. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, <laughs> the arm's pretty much done and that took me a few minutes. So that's definitely my, my process for skinning the whole character. And as you go into more detail, you can select verts you want to skin more precisely and you can relax them that way. But you also have all your native tools here from the native Maya skinning. So hopefully that was of value to you and yeah, happy skinning and I'll see you in the next video.